name is Mandira. Welcome to Agla Sen. And today we are going to be studying class 7, chapter number 8, A Shirt in the Market. Now this chapter will tell you the journey of a shirt from, you know, the starting, uh, ki agar cotton ki shirt hai though, it is made from the plant of cotton, how that cotton is produced, to when it is sold to the final consumer, right? So we experience apne bhi hoga that, uh, you know, all of us, we go to the market to purchase different, different kinds of clothes, different shirts, different leggings. But, you know, kaise, how do, how do those things reach our favorite shops or how do those things reach shopping malls, etc. So this chapter will tell you the journey of that. Okay, so let's start with chapter number eight, a shirt in the market. Heading number one, a cotton farmer in Kurnool. So here uh, we uh, talk about Swapna, who is a small farmer in Kurnool, Andhra Pradesh, who grows cotton on her small piece of land. The balls of cotton um, are ripe and some of them have already burst. So Swapna is busy picking up the cotton. So this is from the very starting. Okay. कि आपकी शर्ट जो बन के आपके पास आई है जो कुर्ता कॉटन का मैंने पहन रखा है ये इट इज कम टू मी बिल्कुल स्टार्टिंग से अगर हम देखें तो कहां से शुरू हो रहा है वेयर इज द इंसेप्शन ऑफ दिस कुर्ता राइट सो सो फार्मर्स लाइक स्वप्ना वो कॉटन की फार्मिंग करते हैं एंड एज सुन एज द कॉटन वाज अ बर्स्ट दे स्टार्ट टू कलेक्ट द कॉटन ओके वंस द कॉटन इज कलेक्टेड इंस्टेड ऑफ सेलिंग इट एट कुरनूल कॉटन मार्केट uh, they take it to the local trader and as we have read before in earlier chapters as well these are the traders jinse unhone um, you know they have taken loans in order to uh, buy fertilizers and pesticides in order to grow cotton okay so they will sell it to the local trader for a uh, for a lower price than they would sell to the market in order to repay the loan okay so jitne ka unka you know bikta hai cotton obviously usse aage ja ke bahut high price mein wo cotton ka actual value hota hai lekin they have to sell it to the local trader because that's where they are getting fertilizers number 1 number 2 unke paas pure year pe itna sara kaam nahi hota hai because this is a, an example of seasonal employment whenever the crop of cotton is growing only then they have employment so for the rest of the year they still have to rely on the local trader to borrow money in order to buy food and you know other important things so for survival basically they have to depend on the local trader Okay. Cultivation of cotton requires high levels of inputs such as fertilizers, pesticides around the farmers and they have to incur heavy prices on the account of these. As I, as I explained it to you before, okay. only in 3000 rupees, uh, trader is telling them the cotton is selling cheap but that's not true because Agni Jaki trader also kafi higher amount may sell currently. Okay. Though Sapna knows that the cotton will sell for at least 1800 per quintal, she does not argue further. The trader is a powerful man in the village and the farmers have to depend on him for loans, not only for cultivation, but also to meet, um, you know, uh, other emergency expenses like illnesses. If they have an emergency expense, they have to take them from them. When they don't have any employment, they will take them from them. So he is a powerful person in the village. So they don't want to have a fight with him. That's why whatever price he is giving them for the cotton, they are selling it for. Okay, let's come to the next main heading, which is that of the market of Irod. Okay, so Irod's bi-weekly market in Tamil Nadu is one of the largest cloth markets in the world. A large variety of cloth is sold in the market. Cloth that is made by weavers in the villages is also brought here for sale. Okay, so it's a very wholesale kind of market of cotton. Okay, so first we have crops se local trader. Tak hai. Number one step, number two step, we are coming to the wholesale market where cotton is sold. Okay. So, um, here offices and merchants ke, uh, who can buy the cloth. On market days, you would find weavers bringing cloth that has been made uh, on order from the merchant. And these merchants supply cloth, cloth on order to garment manufacturers and exporters around the country. Okay, so basically it is a wholesale kind of market where uh, merchants uh, supply clo cloth to garment manufacturers and exporters. So, jab, um, उस मार्केट में क्लॉथ आता है तो वहां से दो जगह जा सकता है या तो हमारे अपने कंट्री के मैन्युफैक्चरर्स के पास जा सकता है पीपल हु आर यू नो बेसिकली मेकिंग कॉटन क्लोथ्स विद इन इंडिया और इट कैन गो टू द एक्सपोर्टर्स एक्सपोर्टर्स कौन होते हैं पीपल हु आर मेकिंग क्लॉथ फॉर यू नो और मेकिंग क्लोथ्स फॉर आउटसाइड फॉरेन कंट्रीज एंड इट गेट्स एक्सपोर्टेड फ्रॉम देयर ओके so let's uh, move on to our second step of wholesale se, cotton jo hai wo ya to manufacturers ke paas jayega indian manufacturers ke paas ya fir foreign manufacturers so exported uh, cotton okay then the next the third main heading which is that of putting out system weavers producing cloth at home okay the merchant distributes uh, work among weavers based on the orders he has received uh, for the cloth the weavers get the yarn from the merchant and supply him the cloth for weavers this arrangement seemingly has two advantages 
तो यहां से जो मार्केट आया वहां पे वीवर्स को ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज कॉटन रॉ कॉटन का आप क्या करोगे उसको आपको वीव करके कपड़ा बनाना है उसका है ना कॉटन का कपड़ा बनाने के लिए वीवर्स के पास जाता है वो क्लॉथ ठीक है नाउ वीवर्स जो है वो उनसे क्लॉथ लेते हैं और बेसिकली दे वर्क एज काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से यू नो इम्प्लॉइज विद द मर्चेंट बिकॉज वाई नाउ एग्जैक्टली तो अब हम यही दो रीजन हम पढ़ने वाले हैं वाई वीवर्स विल वर्क एज एम्प्लॉइज वाई दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू बिकम ओनर्स वाई दे डोंट बाय यू नो द क्लॉथ दम Number one, the weavers do not have to spend the money on the purchase of the yarn because the merchant is buying the yarn for them. Okay, and secondly, the problem of selling is finished. So, and they don't have to roam around in different different kinds of markets. उनको धक्के नहीं खाने पड़ते to sell the yarn. Okay, so two major benefits: ना खरीदना है ना बेचना है. ठीक है. So uh, and sometimes they also don't have enough money to buy the yarn in bulk. Okay, it's not given here, but I'm just adding it uh, for my own uh, knowledge. ठीक है हाउ एवर दिस डिपेंडेंस इन मर्चेंट्स फॉर बोथ रॉ मटेरियल्स एंड मार्केट मींस दैट द मर्चेंट्स हैव अ लॉट ऑफ पावर सो वट एवर प्राइस दे कोट टू द वीवर्स कि आपको इसी प्राइस पे आपको वीव करना है दैट दे हैव टू एक्सेप्ट बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव द रिसोर्सेज इन टू परचेज इट और टू सेल इट सो दे आर डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द इम्प्लॉयर्स विच आर द मर्चेंट्स ठीक है तो यहाँ पे काफी पावर जो है वो मर्चेंट्स के हाथ में है दे गिव ऑर्डर्स फॉर वॉटर्स टू बी मेड एंड पे वेरी लो प्राइस फॉर मेकिंग द क्लॉथ ऑब्वियसली अगर उनके पास एक एडवांटेज है एक यू नो पावर है सो दे विल ऑलवेज आई मीन ऑब्वियसली एक्सप्लॉय दैट पावर एंड दिस गिव वेरी लेस मनी टू द वीवर्स ठीक है तो वीवर्स इन्वेस्ट ऑल द सेविंग्स टू बोरो मनी यू नो एट हाई रेट्स टू बाय लूम्स Each each loom loom costs around 20,000 rupees. So a a small weaver with two looms has to to invest 40,000. Loom, aapko bata hai na? It's basically a machine that is used to weave, right? So they have to invest in those machines because एक मशीन तो चाहिए ना मिनिमम आपको टू वर्क एज अ वीवर टू बिकम एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉय विद मर्चेंट्स राइट सो अब इस लोन को लेने के लिए भी उनको अपनी सेविंग स्पेंड करनी पड़ती है ठीक है फॉर ऑल दिस वर्क दे अर्न अबाउट थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज पर मंथ सो एक तो फोर्टी थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड आपको लगाना पड़ेगा मशीन के लिए उसके बाद भी आपको महीने के सिर्फ थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज मिलेंगे फॉर सो मच ऑफ वर्क ओके द अरेजमेंट बिटवीन द मर्चेंट इन वीवर्स इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पुटिंग आउट सिस्टम वे बाय द मर्चेंट सप्लाईज रॉ मटीरियल एंड रिसीव द फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट सो ही ऑल ही इज डूइंग इज बेसिकली बाइंग द स्टफ एंड गिविंग दम टू द वीवर्स वीवर्स आर मेकिंग इट इन टू फिनिश प्रोडक्ट और वो सीधा एक फिनिश प्रोडक्ट लेके उसको बहुत ही हाई प्राइस पे बेचेगा बहुत ही हाई इन कंपेरिजन टू वॉट नंबर वन इन कंपेरिजन टू वॉट ही हेज परचेज द कॉटन वर्क उसके कंपेरिजन में नंबर टू इन कंपेरिजन टू द सैलरी ही इज पेइंग टू द वीवर्स उसके कंपेरिजन में भी ही विल पे अ लॉट ओके ही विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ मनी वेन ही सेल्स इट so this uh, uh, इसीलिए uh, because the system is a bit exploitative against the weavers they have formed weavers cooperatives weavers cooperatives क्या होते हैं जिसमें merchant का role minimize करने की कोशिश करी जाती है and uh, what uh, weavers do is that they form a union and आपस में they uh, pool their uh, money and resources and they remove the middleman ठीक है कि अपने आप एक as an association as a cooperative because सबका money pool करेंगे तो काफी सारा money हो जाएगा जिससे वो परचेज कर सकते हैं दे परचेज इट एंड देन दे डू द वीविंग एंड देन सम ऑफ देम गो एंड सेल द प्रोडक्ट एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द प्रोफिट ऑन टू दू नो अदर वीवर्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड वीवर्स को ऑपरेटिव ओके द नेक्स्ट मेन हेडिंग इज दैट ऑफ द गार्मेंट एक्सपोर्टिंग फैक्ट्री नियर डेली नाउ थोड़ा थोड़ा हम फिनिशिंग प्रोडक्ट की तरफ बढ़ रहे हैं ठीक है सो द गार्मेंट एक्सपोर्टिंग फैक्ट्री है जो हमारी डेली के पास है द शर्ट विल बी एक्सपोर्टेड टू फॉरन बायर्स अमंग द फॉरन बायर्स आर द बिजनेसमैन फ्रॉम यूएस एंड यूरोप Who, who run chain of stores? So uh, usually अगर आप कभी भी किसी foreign country को visit करोगे and you uh, go to Adidas showrooms there or just you know brands that are present also in India, अगर आप वहां पर जाके देखोगे usually there will be a tag on the clothes that says made in India. So basically uh, हमारे ही weavers का जो you know एक cheap लेबर है उसको यूटिलाइज करके वो वहां पर दे आर अर्निंग इमेंस प्रॉफिट सो दैट्स हाउ द चेन इज वर्किंग एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज वेरी एक्सप्लोइटेटिव टू वर्ड्स द वीवर्स द लोकल यू नो लेबर दैट इज गोइंग ऑन इन ठीक है द एक्सपोर्ट राइज इज बेस्ट टू मीट द कंडीशन सेट बाय पावरफुल बायर्स ओके फेस विद सच प्रेशर फ्रॉम द बायर्स द गार्मेंट एक्सपोर्टिंग फैक्ट्रीज इन टर्न ट्राई टू कट कॉस्ट है ना वो लोग हल्का सा भी अगर कोई हल्का सा डिफेक्टेड हो दे विल रिजेक्टेड कि हम लोग नहीं लेंगे ये कॉटन शर्ट में हल्का सा डेंट है हम नहीं लेंगे आप उसको ले जाओ सो बिकॉज उसको बहुत ही एक्सपीरियंस पैक्ट क्वालिटी रखनी है इस चक्कर में वो क्या करते हैं दैट दे ट्राई टू कट कॉस्ट फ्रॉम द लेबर ओके दैट्स वाई इट्स अ वेरी मच डिसएडवांटेज टू देम ठीक है दे गेट द मैक्सिमम वर्क आउट ऑफ द वर्क इज इन द लोएस्ट पॉसिबल वेजेस ओके दिस इज वाई दे कैन मिनिमाइज देर ओन प्रॉफिट एंड ऑल्सो सप्लाई गार्मेंट्स टू फॉरन
The Impex garment factory has 70 workers. Most of them are women. Most of these workers are employed on a temporary basis. This means that whenever the employer feels that work is not needed, a worker can be asked to leave. Okay, so it is again an example of seasonal employment. Jab bhoat zada demand hoti hai, then the workers are present. But jaise hi demand kam ho jati hai, wo unko, there is no job security. They will just tell them to leave. Okay, so that brings us to the next heading, which is that of the shirt in the United States. So it's a good fill in the blank exercise. Now please ye fill in the blank exercise kar lijega. It's, it's, it'll give you a lot of perspective. But what it's basically trying to say is that Something that is bought for very, very, very cheap or produced for very cheap in India is sold for almost, you know, triple or quadruple the price in um, United States and other foreign countries. Okay, so who are the gainers in the market? As I told you, merchants, the rich people, the exporter, who export kar rahe hai, na? the factory owners, these are the real gainers because they have access to a lot of money and they have power over weavers and they are the ones who are giving the salaries out to the weavers that's why they can exploit them so they are the gainers in the whole process okay because ultimately the consumer is also paying a lot and the producer is getting much less okay but all these middlemen here and there the export people the factory people all these people are earning in between okay so buying and selling makes at every step of the chain Ab kya hai ki? there were people who made profits in the market and there were some who did not so despite having toiled very hard, the weavers earn very little and the middlemen fetch a lot of money. Okay, which brings us to the final topic, which is that of market inequality. So now, as you can see in this market, there is absolutely, you know, lack of uh, equality over here because jo actually sub sub zyada kaam kar rahe, unko they are having the least access to money and resources. Okay, and the power lies in the hands of people who just have enough to invest in a factory or who are owning export businesses, basically the rich and powerful people. Okay. So um, the foreign business person has made huge profit compared to this, the garment exporter made moderate profit. Earnings of the workers at the garment export factory are barely enough to cover their day-to-day -day needs. So you can see, jitna zada bada ek producer hai, usko bohat paise mil rahe hai, but niche niche, as you come down the chain, uh, the, the lower you go on the chain, the, uh, the lesser they are getting paid and you know, they are also suffering for their day-to-day -day needs. Their, their salary is not enough to even uh, get them through their daily needs, right? So on one hand, the market offers people opportunities to work and is able to sell things, you know, that grow or that they grow or produce. It could be a farmer selling cotton or a beaver producing cloth. But on the other hand, the rich and powerful uh, that get the maximum earnings from the market are on the beneficial side. Okay, so um, large land holdings are the rich and powerful. Hai, jo ye putting out system, mein, uh, they are towards the merchants or you know who are giving out the salaries. If you are at that part, uh, to you are obviously profiting from the market system. And although a market is a good place, one advantage of the market is that it is a good place. It is providing a platform for you to sell your products, to sell your services. But the ones that are benefiting the most from the market are the ones that are, you know, sucking the soul out of the labor and uh, not paying them enough because they want to maximize their profits. Okay, so I hope you were able to understand how the shirt that you, uh, you know, buy from a mall or your local market reaches there. So one thing that you can do as a consumer is to buy, um, I, I went to this amazing heart that was uh, put up by the government of India in uh, GLN Stadium a few days ago. So basically what happened there was where the cloth producers thi, they directly were selling and there were no middlemen. So the, all the profits that came from you know the purchase of all those clothes went to them. So obviously the government should, should organize more and more of these direct kind of festivals where the producer can directly sell their goods to the consumer. You should also be very cautious about where the factory is, where clothes are coming from, whether you can, you know, support any local businesses that are uh, you know, paying their uh, uh, good standards or uh, that are maintaining good standards in terms of payment to their weavers. You know? Of course, we can support weavers cooperatives and we can buy our clothes from there. Now, brand freak, jo hume, we should reduce that and support local a lot. That's what our PM is suggesting as well. Be vocal for local, right? So this is how we can take steps in order to, um, you know, maximize uh, the profits to our uh, very producers and you know not be unfair to them so i hope you got the gist of this chapter if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and do subscribe to the channel thank you for listening uh, 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 uh.